Hey what's up everyone, Jeremy here, and in this video we're going to be learning about the Python module Turtle. We'll be covering what Turtle is, how to set it up, as well as a couple of examples of what it can do. This tutorial is going to assume that you have Python downloaded as well as an IDE to work in. Alright, so what is the Turtle module? Turtle is a pre-installed module that comes with Python that allows us to have a virtual canvas to draw on. Basically, Turtle is a pen that can draw based on our commands. So this is going to look like a series of having the pen on a canvas and moving and picking it up as needed to draw different elements. While Turtle is very capable, it is commonly used as a module to help you get comfortable with Python. Other modules are likely to be better suited for your project depending on their needs. For example, if you were needing a graphical user interface, Tkinter or PyQt5 would be a more realistic option, or if you were trying to build out a game, you'd be better off with Pygame, Panda3D, or many other options. That being said, there's a bunch of cool stuff the Turtle can do. Let's head over to our IDE and set up a basic Turtle file. All right, to start, we're gonna open up a blank Py file. Let's call this example.py. And then let's import our Turtle module. As I already mentioned, that's gonna come with our Python build. So import Turtle. Now, to begin using Turtle, let's first set up the window that our program will be running in. We'll do this by using something called the screen. We can use the screen by initializing a variable with the Turtle screen method. I'll show you how to do that. Let's make a variable called w, and that'll be equal to our turtle screen method. All right, so now that we have this method in this variable, let's go ahead and adjust a couple of properties. Um, the window size, for instance, let's go ahead and with setup, we can adjust that. We'll go ahead and make the width, uh, full width. For my screen, we'll do uh, 1920 as well as, for the, the height, it's going to be 1080, and that's going to be for the size. Now for background color, let's let's go ahead and do, I don't know, what do you think? White? Let's go do, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll try a couple things here. So white, bam, alrighty. Now the window is going to have a title for the application. Let's go ahead and adjust that if you wanted. Let's do a title, we'll do... A turtle example. All right, and with those few things, that's going to have us all set up for a window. But if we wanted to run it, guess what we have? We're not going to have much of anything. So while this is going to open up our window, I want to have a delay to where it will not automatically close the window. We'll just have it close when we click it. So let's go ahead and add one final attribute, which is going to be an exit on click. And this is going to require, as I mentioned, a click before it closes. So let's go ahead and run this. And it just keeps this entire window open. So once I click, it'll stop. So click, and it stops. All right, now that we have our window all set up, let's go ahead and do something that's actually entertaining, which is draw something or make something happen. How about we make a simple drawing? A little simpler than that. Ah, much better. So how are we gonna make a square? Let's first add the turtle to a variable. Let's call it T for turtle. On this part, make sure the word turtle is capitalized. All right, so let's go ahead and make our square. First, we need to make a for loop. So that's just gonna be looping through uh, the range of four in this situation. Because there's four corners, we're going to be going straight and then taking a corner four times, accessing the W variable that we made above, forward, we'll go ahead and do, let's say, 200. We'll go ahead and take a right at an uh, angle. Remember, this is a degree of an angle, not a distance, 90. And that is going to give us a square. It's going to exit on click. So for the range of four, Four times this is going to loop right here, and it's going to go forward 200, right at a 90 degree, forward 200, right at a 90 degree, 400, 200. Uh, uh, you get what I'm saying. All right, so let's run that. As you can see, the screen object has no attribute for because I picked the wrong variable. So let's switch these to T because that's the correct variable we need. And we'll go ahead and run that one more time. And that's going to give us our square. Now when we click, it's going to exit. Let's say we want to make an octagon or something. Let's do a range of 8. Because we're just going to multiply this by 2. So 8 
eight sides. Uh, we'll keep the four by 200, and then the angles can be divided by two, so it's 45. All right, that'll give us an octagon. Now you can, of course, adjust whatever settings you'd like, such as the background color or whatever you want. Now, while this is a very basic implementation of Turtle, it's definitely capable of more complicated uses. Here's a quick example of a remix Pong game that uses Turtle heavily. All right, now I switched over to Sublime. It's going to be a little faster to run our project with everything that I have set up. Now, I'm not going to get into this file too much, but I want to go over a few things. There are a lot more imports that I'm working with to run this entire project. Some of these things I'll go over, such as time, which allows certain delays throughout the project. Turtle we already have gone through. Keyboard, which allows us to bind keys for certain things, such as moving the paddles and uh, certain attacks that I added. Pickle allows us to save the scores to a file, along with getting the path from the OS module, and play sound is just for audio. Now there's a handful of things that Turtle is going to take ownership over in this project. We have the screen, which is going to be the actual window that pops up and the specs around that. We're going to have each paddle for player A, player B. We're going to have the ball. We're going to have, I called this a pen, it needs to be renamed, it should be score. It just keeps the score at the top of the screen. Once you get to three, you win center court line and that's going to be it all right so let's go ahead and build this now it starts us off with the countdown each player has control over their own paddle when it hits it makes a sound now randomly you have a chance of having a uh, a move or an attack happen when it hits your paddle or if you hit a certain key correctly <laughs> at the right time it'll blast out like a super attack they vary between the players. So player B's, well, that's not, let's try it again. So it just kind of throws a crazy ball at you. Now we have the scores. So the scores for the leaderboard that was shown at the end is kept in a file that can be reset when you press R. And I'll give a quick scroll through this file so you can see what's going on a little bit better. You know, everything from turtle up here, different methods and all that good stuff. Our main loop and going pretty fast, but if you need to slow this down, of course you can. I'll try to make a copy of this easily available if interested. Anyways, that's gonna do it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.